for using marijuana because it helps them. I could say nullification there, left and right ought to support that position. In Iraq, where they claim this victory, I think that uh, it's probably worse off than even before. Even as bad as Saddam Hussein was, and he was a monster, but he didn't have nuclear weapons like we were told. He did not, uh, he did not deal with the Al Qaeda, which we were told he did, and uh, he actually, uh, you know, had a bit of tolerance for Christians. He had a Christian in his uh, department uh, in, in his administration. And that doesn't mean anybody can interpret this as I'm defending it. I'm defending non-intervention is what I'm defending. So we go over there, and because we want to punish somebody, we have to punish somebody even if they're unrelated to 9 11. So we decided that the number one target is Iraq, that we're going to remake Iraq. So we go in there, and uh, we lost 3,000 people, so we go over there and lose 5,000 Americans. It makes no sense. And what have we done? We took a, a very messy country where the minority Sunnis were controlling the Shiites and turned the country back over because uh, uh, we want the Shiites to take over. Guess what? They're buddies for, with, uh, with Iran. So we've literally turned that country over to the, to the Iranians. And uh, at, at the same time, we got rid of, uh, you know, one of their greatest opponents uh, to, to, to radical Islam. So uh, I, don't, uh, I don't see how that's going to be much better. Most of the Christians have had to leave their rest. And, uh, and, and trying to claim a great victory there uh, is it, just foolish. The cost was way too high, and the sooner we can get out of all those countries and come home, the better. Some of you all think we ought to come home from the Middle East because it doesn't serve our purpose. Don't you think it's time we come home from Korea and Japan and Germany? Do whatever, and I've introduced this notion to have allow 
just competition with the monopoly because they're in a monopoly and they control it. But when they destroy the dollar, they will destroy themselves and the burden will fall on a new generation to come up with some answers. And you'll have to have some answers. You'll have to either decide that you want to live in a totalitarian society or a free society. If you want a free society, we have the information, we have the ideas, we need the determination. We will never have a large majority ever understanding all the issues. But if you have a significant number in a minority who are eager enough to spread a message and lead, we will be able to get our country out of this and talk about some money, a sensible foreign policy, a civil liberty, shrink the size of government, regional government. We should always uh, uh, argue the case that the more local the government, the better. <laughs> self-determination, whether it's international or domestic or local, I think is a good one. Why should people always think that bigger is better when it comes to government? Uh, the larger amount, of, the largest amount of freedom you have is what we want, not the bigger the government, because that is exactly the other. The bigger the government, the less liberties you're going to have. One of the uh, problems that we have, I think, uh, Goal, my goal in life is uh, to have a society where we can all work for our own virtue and excellence. And that means you make your own choices. You can make good choices or bad choices. If you make bad choices, you suffer the consequence and, and nobody else. But you make the decisions on what kind of life, what kind of religious life you want, what type of intellectual life you want. And uh, if you make those decisions, you have to, uh, you have to live with them. If the government gets involved in telling you how to be virtuous, how you're going to be a better person, how you're going to be more healthy, making sure that they, you can't allow your kids to ride a tricycle without a helmet on, and all that kind of thing. The government's always going to be, you know, the nanny state taking care of it. If you allow the government to tell us how we're going to be safe and how we're, and what these conditions are, all it can be done by removal of liberty. And it's the liberty, the issue of the liberty, the right for you to make your own decisions. I think the First Amendment is a good example of how we should look at it. Most people understand the First Amendment. They know about religious freedom and freedom of the press and freedom of assembly and freedom of speech. And we know that we don't have freedom of speech uh, talk about the weather. We have freedom of speech, so I can come here and get a few things off my chest. <laughs> but when it comes to personal habits, it seems to be completely different. We recognize that intellectually you're allowed to have uh, uh, your, your own personal choices in religious matters, and that's pretty important. That, that is uh, uh, dealing with your hereafter and eternity. But when it comes to your own body, you're not allowed to make your decisions. They're going to make all the decisions for you. And uh, I think uh, the government should be out of, it, out of those decisions. You get to make all your decisions intellectually, monetarily, and on your personal habits. And uh, I think we'd all be better for it. I think that would create a society where people are free as individuals as we all have been born with our freedoms and our liberties, which then should release the creative energy that we would have to solve our problems. But everybody on the other side is going to say, oh, no, you just don't care. If you're not here humanitarian, how are you going to take care of the poor and people won't get medical care? There's no proof of that. There is absolute evidence to show the bigger the government, the worse the quality of education is and the worse the quality of our, uh, of our prosperity. We are a poorer nation the more the government is involved. So, <laughs> liberty approximately 100 years ago or so was divided into two pieces. For some reason, our country uh, got this all mixed up. The founders understood that personal liberty and economic liberty were one and the same. But for some reason, we drifted away from that, and we had one group over here that's free to withdraw, let's say, economic liberty. And another group over here, a little bit better on uh, personal liberties and personal civil liberties. Uh, and there was a time when uh, there were elements in both.